Live at 5, this is 13 News Now. All right, the snow is falling in Hampton Roads for the second time this year. We have a crew out on the roads right now driving around in our mobile weather lab. You're looking live at conditions around Emporia. Our crew is on Route 58 headed west. Thanks for joining us. While 13 News Now is in storm mode, I'm Janet Roach. And I'm David Allen. We are under winter storm warnings and advisories tonight. Let's head outside and check in with Jeff, who's tracking that snow for us. Jeff. All right. All right. Apparently we're having some um, audio difficulties there with Jeff. We'll uh, get that straightened out. But one of the first places where the snow started falling in Hampton Roads was up near Williamsburg. Yeah, let's check in with uh, Nico Clemens, who is uh, taking a look at the snowfall over Newport News City Center. Am I right, Nico? Yeah, David, I'm on Jefferson Avenue, right down the street from City Center. It's heavy snowfall about an hour ago. I would say right now it's light flurries coming down. Life, light flurries coming down here in New, light flurries coming down here in Newport News. Excuse me. The snow has been snowing here on the peninsula all morning since nine this morning. Check out the grass and check out the sidewalks. The snow is starting to stick, but take a look at the roads over here. Slush is starting to form and build, and drivers are going slower than they were about an hour ago. And people I spoke with today, they say if we can handle the snow we got two weeks ago, they can handle today. I liked it when I was young, but the older you get, the less you'll like it. Here we go again. As long as it's like this, yeah, snow like we had a couple weeks ago, not so much. We're all watching the weather still. For the second time in two weeks, snow showers blanketing much of Hampton Roads, but not as much this time around. Everybody was driving like, like heck, really fast. So I stayed in the middle lane and let them do it. You don't want to do that in this kind of weather. We caught up with Jim McBriarty in Newport News. He's from Boston, so this is nothing to him. We have snow here. It's generally like two inches. In, in Boston, it's like uh, two, to four in, two to four feet. Snow started falling early Wednesday morning on the peninsula. In both Newport News and Williamsburg, crews started preparing a day ago for whatever Mother Nature brings. Uh, once we get a couple of inches on the ground, we would definitely be out there plowing, so uh, hopefully it won't be too long that we get them cleared. McBriar T doesn't seem too worried. I wouldn't be concerned about that because I used to do a lot of shoveling. And once again, take a look at the roads. If you have to be out here tonight, go slow, be careful. And fortunately, this time around, it's going to warm up quickly. So whatever we get tonight, hopefully it's going to melt real soon starting tomorrow. Live in Newport News, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. All right, we are now well into rush hour on this snowy Wednesday evening. Let's check in now with Christina's Verjaco. Yeah, David, and pretty much uh, most of Hampton Roads is lighting up red there. Most of the roadways lighting up red on the traffic network map. I want to head to the peninsula right now. This is I-64, a live look near westbound lanes of J. Clyde Morris Boulevard. You see the cars right there. Well, that's actually a Virginia State Trooper that was hit by an alleged other driver driving on the westbound lanes there. You can see they're investigating the accident there. A Virginia State Police spokesperson tells us that driver lost, allegedly lost control there. So another reminder to be extra careful and here's why. This is a live look at I-264 at the Berkeley Bridge. You can see we're just dealing with wide out snow, icy conditions out there and that's causing for a very, very messy commute out there. Here's another look at the traffic network map. You can see I-64 red all the way from the HRBT to the I-264 interchange. It's going to be a long night. You have to Heed the warnings, drive very carefully, and I'll be back with another update on traffic in just a little while, guys. All right, two snowstorms in two weeks have business owners at the Virginia Beach oceanfront worried. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton is live at the oceanfront, and Allie, business owners tell you a lot of money is being lost because of winter weather. 
Yeah, Janet, that's right. The manager here at Rudy Tours tells me if those boats don't go out on the water, they're losing about three to $5,000 a day. That's a lot, and it's because of these conditions. Take a look behind me. You can see the snow is coming down and it is sticking. You can see the dock there covered full of snow, and he says that's one of the reasons why they just can't go out on the water. It's the season for whale watching. Believe it or not, the people will still come. But today, Captain Skip Feller's eyes aren't peeled on spotting whales, but spotting flakes. We had people signed up for today, and we just, you, you cancel it, and you give them a chance to either reschedule or refund. The cancellation was due to high winds and the chance of snow at the ocean front. I mean, it kills the business just because nobody, you know, the streets, nobody can get out. And while Feller says he's losing thousands of dollars a day, he'd rather have people safe. Feller says this is not the first but second time the snow has canceled tours. We lost at least a week, um, you know, and then a lot of it we have to get the snow off of the boats and people have to be able to get here. He's hoping this is the last storm of the season. You rely on the winter time just because, you know, it, it is such a seasonal, so you, you know, you're making good money in the summertime, but then you do need the winter time to carry everybody through because we still, we've got a lot of maintenance we do on the boats in the winter time. Now, Feller hopes this snow melts faster than it did in the last two weeks. His goal is to open back for the tours by Friday. Live in Virginia Beach, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. VDOT crews say they're doing everything they can to keep roads clear. They've been pre-treating roads since Monday, getting ready for the snow. VDOT and contractors work together to clear the state-maintained roads and interstates. Today, 13 News Now spoke with operator Brian Owens. Loves his job, which he has been doing for 21 years. Owens says safety is a priority, and he has a message for drivers. Well, the first thing is just there's signs on our trucks. If, if we're working, just let us work. Give us at least 100 feet behind us. Like I say, don't pass us because road is generally going to be worse in front of us than it is behind us. <clears throat> we don't want to, to damage vehicles. We just want to get the work done safely for everybody. You know, we have a family to go home to. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper wants residents to stay inside tonight and be prepared to deal with the snow. I want them to be ready. And I want them to stay off the roads unless absolutely necessary. Cold temperatures tonight mean that tomorrow morning's commute will be dangerous. Cooper says the good news is that temperatures are expected to climb tomorrow and into the weekend. If you have to be out driving on the snowy and icy roads, AAA has some tips to help you trudge through whatever winter weather crosses your path. First, accelerate and decelerate slowly. Don't try to get moving in a hurry. And take time to slow down for a stoplight. Remember, it takes longer to slow down, speed up, and turn on icy roads. Never tailgate. Never. All right, the normal following distance of three to four seconds on dry pavement should be increased to eight to 10 seconds and when in doubt, stay home. If you do get stuck in the snow, there are many things you can do to get out. First things first, don't let a non-professional attach a chain to your car. It could cause serious damage. What might get you out is digging snow and ice away from the tires. If that fails, put something underneath the tires like floor mats. Scott Mitchell is the fleet operations manager for AAA Tidewater. He says you can rock your car back and forth using drive and reverse, but there's a proper way to do it straighten the wheels and you want to use a rocking method forward and backwards at low speed. You don't do not want to gun the tires and let them spin. That's not going to give you any traction. If you still can't get out, tow companies and AAA are out in full force today to help. They just ask for patience and for people to stay off the roads if possible. All right, with the cold temperatures we've been seeing since New Year's Day, Norfolk police say they're seeing more cars being stolen. Since the first of the year, 40 cars have been reported stolen. 55% of those cars had either been left running unattended or had keys left inside the vehicle. Police want to remind you not to do those things while warming up your car. Remember, even if you lock your car while it's on, someone could break a window and get inside. 